Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I am back with another wacky painting idea. The art critics are going to love this one. First of all, I am reusing a canvas I didn't like, so that's why it's gray. I just sprayed it with a paint and primer. All right. Um, if any of you didn't see the turkey pour recently, I'll put a link down in the description. Check it out. But I have some wild ideas sometimes, and I love to try them. And you guys get to see me experiment with these and see what happens. And it's okay if I totally fail, make a mess. Also, I don't know about you, but sometimes I am just frustrated. And I'm frustrated with my paint and my life and my YouTube and whatever. And sometimes I kind of want to take it out on the canvas. And then lastly, everybody loves the Dutch pour, but what if you don't have a hair dryer? This is a potential answer to this. We're going to find out. Um, so I am dubbing this one the slap pour. Yep. It is going to be just as it sounds. I have no idea if this is going to work, but either way, it will minimally be fun. I'm going to actually put a tiny bit of water in this white. One second. Sorry about that. It was seeming a little thick. Okay. Add a little more white around here for good measure. So first I'm going to get everything out of the way so I don't make a total mess. And then just as it sounds, we're going to see what we create can create with just the force of my hand on this canvas. Well, now that is exciting. Okay, I'm gonna tilt a bit. So I was kind of hoping to get a little more of a Dutch pour look. Didn't exactly happen, but that's okay. It was still super fun and exciting. I'm going to go ahead and, because there were some spots where my hand kind of hit and that um, made the paint a little thin. So I'm gonna tilt to kind of fill in some of those spots. All right, I don't want to overwork that. <laughs> so, that was a lot of fun. We're gonna go ahead and let this sit for a bit. Curious what develops. Um, we definitely have some fun movements here just from the force. I think I need to maybe try also hitting it a little differently, like maybe more of like a I don't know maybe more of a sl side slap <laughs> oh my gosh you guys are gonna think I'm crazy okay <laughs> we'll be back okay we're back we definitely got some little cells popping up in here I personally think that this is beautiful I may have over slapped it <laughs> like I'm kind of not sure how I feel about this part over here but I love this I love the negative space. If you see any parts that are uneven, don't worry about it. Flow troll is self-leveling. And also, I did dump a little more white on the corners because it was a little thin there. So let's go ahead and do our close-up. All right, this is the lower right-hand corner. So I only used blue, purple, and gold in this. Um, and white, of course. Uh, and then all the colors are mixed with Floetrol and water. Nothing else, no silicone or anything else. And um, yeah, just my usual ratios, which will be down in the description. This is my favorite part over here. Look at this beautiful lacing. I love how it's running off the side of the canvas over here. Just gorgeous. Okay, upper left-hand corner. So you see it is a little uneven there, but it'll it'll level out. I'm not worried about it. And down to the lower left hand corner. And this is the part, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. It does definitely have some beautiful 
parts in it though. And then overall, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if you wanna see another experiment on this crazy technique, or if you're like, Marcy's just off her rocker. I won't be offended either way. I think it's fun. I think it's a unique result. Um, definitely can help you, uh, you know, <laughs> to make your day a little brighter, I think. Um, <laughs> at least those are my, my thoughts on it. Anywho, all right, guys, I will see you next time.